Welcome back, YouTube. So, it's Friday morning. It's 5.55. I always see triple digits constantly. Oh, yeah. So, little discussion about yesterday's buying high mileage uh, 20 and 30 year old vehicles. If you're buying a vintage vehicle, <coughs> collector's vehicle that's been restored all right yeah so little conversation here for you but if you're a guy who's looking to buy a high mileage 2004 Chevy truck Dodge Ram you're gonna find rust this is what's out there I mean these guys are selling a car that's you know 200,000 300,000 motors and transmissions and stuff and the rears are still good but you know the chassis and frame and bodies are in need of repair have i seen a vehicle fall apart yesterday i said i haven't my mistake i've seen kia i think it's kia sorrento the rear upper chassis arm uh that bar rusts out and it rips the upper trailing arms off of that support never in my possession though I've seen two or three and I've repaired two um, like I said I've never seen I said I never seen it and I also the Jeep that a customer gave me 04 Jeep Wrangler where the transmission cross member rusted out and it, it fell down so did it fall apart technically yes um, have I seen frames on trucks running around on the lift start to bend down? Yes, I've seen that too because the frames were so soft and rotten. I've seen tons of Chevy trucks where the rear axle tube that holds the shock supports in rot out, rip the shock landings, uh, shock supports off. They sell a repair kit for that. Jeeps, they sell all the repair kits for the chassis and frame. Is it unsafe? At some point, I think it is, depending on where it's at. Um, so yes, in my area, which is South Jersey, I don't know where all these cars are coming from, but I see tons of rotted, rotten and rotted out areas of frames. Um, but all, in my opinion, are repairable depending on how bad they are and where it's at. I've seen Toyota trucks that were patched in. Um, I've seen Ford frame rails patched in. I've seen tons of this stuff patched in. So I just wanted to clarify, I have seen cars that have fallen apart. Uh, and one was a vehicle that was given to me, which to no surprise to the, the guy who previously owned the owner, we patched in a section a prior year and I said, hey dude, thinks this thing's gonna need a frame. Um, he didn't want to commit to that. And then when I got it, uh, further investigation is, um, I put some channels in it that were, uh, that you can order for a Wrangler and lots of Jeeps out there. And I was able able to salvage it, but eventually it is gonna need it when, I don't know, I might be dead by the time that it needs a, a full replacement of a frame or something like that. My Sequoia had some rotten spots here and there. I fixed them up if you follow my videos. So if that's the market you're in for buying a high mileage car because that's your budget or that's your dream car, I say go for it, but you need to find someone who's gonna help you fix the areas. It's not the end of the world if you buy one. Um, but, it, you know, almost everything is repairable depending on how much of a commitment you want to make to it. Thank you.